Hi everybody, it's Kathy from Huckleberry Herbs and Art. I hope you're all doing well. Thanks for stopping by the channel. And today I'm just doing a little card share in theme of St. Patty's Day for the weekend. And um, if you want to stick around, then you might be able to catch a few of the steps that I took to make these. When I sat down to make some St. Patrick's Day cards, I actually had a lot of these types of things, you know, your rainbow and your lucky pots of gold and clovers and you know all kinds of doodads but I really wanted to make something with a lot of tradition that had a message about St. Patrick's Day in it and I've recently gotten into trying to learn how to do these knots so there may be some videos coming up showing you because they're really not that hard. Um, some step-by-steps of how to make knots and maybe I'll be able to incorporate that into some heartfelt creations because as many of you know that's what I focus on a lot although there are some gardening videos for sure to come up because it's mid-March and we're looking forward to spring. Now spell Spellbinders had come out a few years ago with these 3D embossibilities and it was of these Celtic knots and I thought it was beautiful and I wanted to play around with it. I have to tell you that it gave my Big Shot <laughs> a bit of a tough time getting it through. I just couldn't get it right. It was fairly hard to do it. And also that the Black Magic paper, there's Heartfelt Creations paper in here, but I used the Black Magic paper, which is paper that is black on the surface, but the core is really a different color. And when you emboss and then sand it, and that's what you'll see in the video, um, you can create things like this. Now, I don't think they sell Black Magic. I could be wrong. I don't know where to get Black Magic. I do think I know where to get something similar. So if I if I find that in the future, then I'll, I'll give you a heads up about that. Or if anybody wants to leave a comment below, please do so if you know where we can get papers like these on a regular basis. So the Celtic Knot is very ancient. It's carved into all of the pagan stones from ancient culture, Celtic culture times. They've been there for a very long time. And um, St. Patrick came to the island and taught about the Trinity, the Christianity. And St. Patrick's Day is a celebration of this wonderful person who came and offered all this knowledge. And the clover, the three-leafed clover, of course the four-leaf is lucky. Huh. Yeah, I don't think I've ever found one. And I doubt that I would get the, the gold pot with it, even if I did. But the three-leaf clover represents the Trinity and was the way that St. Patrick taught the people of Ireland about the Trinity, where there are three parts that equal the one. So there was a very serious Christian message within St. Patrick's Day with all of the parades and the parties and the green and the clovers and the lucky pots of gold and rainbows. They're wonderful, but I just wanted to do something that spoke a little bit more about the history and brought some of the true uh, trueness of St. Patty's Day forward. So this first card, Happy St. Patrick's Day, the little clover across and this knot with this beautiful heartfelt creations paper. This one, the embossibilities gave me such a hard time that it actually broke through the paper and so I just popped it out. I think I'll be showing that in the video and then I just have embossed and stamped and raised up after I've cut them. A little cross with the three leaf clover and this one here in a more of a limish green. Again, all these have heartfelt creations paper in the background and on the front. So even though um, Heartfelt Creations didn't have any St. Patty's Day per se, they certainly had enough to support making these pretty cards. And if you want to hang around, like I said, I'll show you how I did at least parts of these. So this black magic paper is meant to emboss and then sand just like I'm doing here. Um, I'm not sure what the grit of the sandpaper is that I'm using, but I can tell you it's not extremely coarse and it's not overly fine. So something of your average coarseness. And you're really supposed to use a block, and that's what you know carpenters use too 
when they have sandpaper, they take a little block of wood and they wrap the sandpaper around it and it creates a nice flat, even surface. When I first started doing this, I thought to myself, oh my goodness, I don't have a block to put this on and that's how I should be doing it. But as it turned out, there were so many very high points versus low points that I was actually grateful it wasn't on a block. And right there, I'm checking to see if it actually tore when it went through the embossing with the embossing folder into the, into the big shot, but it didn't. It just creased really heavily there. So I was actually grateful that I could, with my fingers, uh, press the sandpaper down a little harder or lighter and into indentations that would have been difficult to get to if I had had it on a block. So as it turned out, it was okay to do it without a block. And now I'm just taking one of those swifters to clean off the dust and reveal the, the pretty embossed colorful paper coming up from the Black Magic. Now here you're going to see when I do this more golden toned cord paper, this is where I realized it was so impressed that it actually had torn the paper through in some areas. And right there, there you go. It had almost die cut it with an embossing folder. <laughs> so no biggie. I decided, well, that's fine. I'm just going to tear around the edges because it's already coming loose. And uh, I ended up with the, the single knot instead of the decor. The papers came from the Classic Rose, Classic Petunia, and the, yeah, Classic Rose. Those three different paper pads. I found some lovely greens in. And all I needed to do now was take this beautiful Celtic knot on the Black Magic paper and start cutting it down to the size for the card that I had picked. I decided to use black card stock and envelopes and stuff for this. I thought, uh, why pull from the color anymore? I really wanted this to be the focal point. And I did end up cutting it a little bit more afterwards. I didn't, didn't show all the cutting I did, but when I got it to about the size I wanted for the frame I was looking for around the knot and its uh, frame itself, I came back and started cutting the background papers. I went around this in some of the Distress Oxide greens, but it just wasn't showing up because it's, there's so much green in these papers. So I decided to use the black soot and create a little bit more of a rustic look on it. So I'm just going to go around the edges of these papers with black soot. And also after I had stamped and embossed the sentiments, I decided to edge all of those with some black soot as well. It really does make a difference um, when you do that. Take the time to do that. It makes it look a little bit more professional and stands out, outlines your, your work. All I had to do after that was put these lovely knots onto the background paper and the card and then come back and put my sentiments and the little crosses that I chose to put on them with the, the little clovers. So as you can see there's the knot <clears throat> that I ended up tearing around the edge and just using the knot all onto itself. Uh, I do want to play with knots in the future so maybe you'll get to see some videos when I do this from scratch in my sketchbooks and things like that and see what I can come up with. Thank you so much for staying with me and watching this. I hope you enjoyed it and again if you have any information about where to get something like the Black Magic paper feel free to leave it in the comment section and make a comment anyway. Let me know how you're doing. I hope you all have a great St. Patty's Day and that you'll be back to see more of my card making and paper crafts and other kinds of crafts and gardening that should be coming up soon. Still working on those pansies etc. All right, give me a thumbs up if you liked this video. I so appreciate the support. Until next time, everybody, have a blessed day.